This is Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. Here's the chaperone at a high school Halloween party. Sometime into the night, a 17-year-old girl lifts her mask and grabs you by the arm. You recognize her as a longtime patient of yours. You've got to help me, she says. She tells you about the heart palpitations, the drenching sweat, and the crippling feelings of nervousness. It all started when a boy at the party revealed how much he liked her, and she feels that things could get serious. She's terrified of the possibility of becoming pregnant, however, and says she needs advice. The girl tells you that a trip to the pharmacy went nowhere because she had no prescription, no money, and just no idea what her options are. All I know is I don't want to get pregnant, she tells you. How can you help her? As teens in the U.S. have become more sexually active, the high rates of unintended teen pregnancy have become a public health concern. Each year, more than 600,000 teens in the United States become pregnant. If we could eliminate some of the barriers to teens having access to contraception, would pregnancy rates fall? In a study from St. Louis, the authors removed financial and access barriers to contraception. The study involved 1,400 adolescent girls aged 14 to 19 who were sexually active with a male partner or were planning to be sexually active with a male partner during the next six months. The teens were counseled on commonly used contraceptive methods with an emphasis on the benefits of long-acting reversible contraceptives, which include intrauterine devices and implants. In the study, participants chose a method and were provided with it at no cost. Most chose an intrauterine device or an implant. They then were followed for two to three years. The results were compared with the pregnancy, birth, and induced abortion rates observed nationally among U.S. teens from 2009 to 2010. The national rate of pregnancy among sexually active teens was 158 per thousand, while in the study the rate was 34, or one-fifth the national rate. Rates of birth and abortion among the study participants were substantially lower as well. The study supports a strategy of educating teenage girls about birth control, and in particular the effectiveness of long-acting reversible contraceptives and providing them free of charge. At the party, you tell the girl you definitely can help her and suggest she schedule an appointment with you. She calms down and, feeling happy and assured, goes back to enjoy the party.